after residents of Kitui Rural Constituency in Kitui County, Kachiliba and Pokot South in West Pokot County, and Rongai in Nakuru County, and those of Nyaki West in Meru County and Kwanjenga of Nairobi, who failed to cast votes of their county reps and ward reps respectively in the just concluded August 9 general election, will get an opportunity to do so on Monday. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Sunday finalized the distribution of election materials to polling stations ahead of tomorrow's election in affected areas following an earlier postponement of the election for among others due to a mix-up of ballot papers. This is a crucial exercise that will have them elect a leader that will represent them in the 13th parliament for the next five years and numbers that will have an effect on the majority of the MPs in the House. Currently, UDA has a majority of 139 MPs, followed by ODM with 85. In Nakuru Rongai constituency, with a total of 84,625 registered voters, a battle looms between the incumbent Raymond Moy of Kanu, who is facing stiff competition from Paul Chebor of UDA and Luca Kigen of CCM. In Kitui Rural, with 55,000 registered voters, the battle is between the incumbent David Mwalika of Wiper Party and Charles Nyamai of UDA. In West Pokot County, 48,406 registered voters in Pokot South will be a battle between the incumbent David Kosin of Kenya Union Party, Simon Kalekem of UDA, and James Teko, an independent candidate. In Kachiliba, with 51,146 registered voters, it will be a battle between Mark Lomunokol of UDA, Titus Lote of Kenya Union Party, and John Lodino of Kanu Party. <laughs> Kwanjenga has attracted 17 members of county assembly aspirants. Ah. Security has been beefed up in the areas with each returning officer speaking to ensure a smooth exercise. We have an elaborate system in terms of security which we have communicated with the OSPDs and the OCS in the, in the area.